Okay, y'all ready? True story, y'all. True story. Y'all ready? Okay. <laughs> Alright, fellas. Fellas in the kitchen, just remember I'm recording. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just... All right, everybody, everybody got a seat right here. Right. Everybody in the kitchen, come on. I can't, sit on, I can't sit on the floor. Here we go. As I sit and stare between these bars and think about my life and the many mistakes that I've made. I just hope that he hears this as I ask him for forgiveness all those lonely nights that I lay and I pray. Is there a reason for this confinement? Is my life the price that I must pay? See, I want to atone for my sins, but I don't know where to begin. Tell me, is there anything that I can do or I can say? See, I don't understand, man. I love this girl. She was like my sister, my boy, my best friend. The closest thing to me, I felt love and never judged, but I just got to tell y'all how the story all begins. Now, there was a spiritual connection. Although I must admit I had feelings, but since she was involved, I just couldn't find the nerve. But this guy, he mistreated her, and, and at times he would beat on her, but to me she was a queen, and he could never give her what she deserved. I felt all of her hurt and pain, but there was only one man to blame, because it was his hands, his knuckles, and his fist. Oh, was it a two-way street, but my girl was so sweet I had to ask her, baby, why you, why you stay and put up with this shit? See, the reality was that she was afraid to leave, and there were questions in my mind, do you really want to go? You know how y'all feel obligated to stay Although your feelings have gone away But it's one thing he should know You reap what you sow Now while he was doing all of his lines She was calling me crying Asking me what I thought it was that she should do But there were some things she had to see That Black Ice wouldn't be able to show her Besides the answer to these questions She already knew See her only choices were the ones that she would choose And I just couldn't bear to see her face bruised An abused friend, man, I refused to lose And just to think of her neglected And all the times that this nigga disrespected my help rejected But baby, I can't protect you if you don't want to be protected Tell me, what is it going to take for you to remove the veil from in front of your face and see That when he was locked up This was the only time that you had a feeling of being free until you met me and I gave you inspiration to breathe again and the faith to resist. Told you to pray for the strength to walk away because I just couldn't keep seeing you going through this shit. And not one day had passed before another call came. Now everybody's involved, including your mama. I called her up and I told her, listen, baby, I'm on my way over. But now when I come, you know it's going to be some drama. And now I'm pacing the floor before I walk out this door because this time she told me that he cut her. Look, I'm trying not to snap, but I got to come strapped. Although my intentions were just to talk to this brother. And that's when temper started to flare as he wondered why I was there getting involved in the affair. But instead of talking man to man, I noticed something in his hands that gave off a glare. And that's when she got in between us. As we started to cuss and yell at both of us that we both need to stop it. But before I knew it, man, he just blew it with a blood on it. He just pulled a knife up out of his pocket. And now I'm grabbing his wrist while I'm hitting him with my fist, trying not to let go. I'm holding his wrist tight. Meanwhile, thinking to myself, wishing it was somebody else because now this food and just brought a knife to a gunfight. I want to back him up off me, but this move will prove costly because there's a thin line between being sane and insane. I pulled it out and what happened next? Damn. One round went off in his chest. In just this one moment in life, my whole life changed. And now I'm cuffed up and roughed up all because I tried to help out a friend. Wondering when will this nightmare end but cop cars and steel bars has a way of allowing reality to set in. See, confinement is more than just a physical thing. There's more than one way that you can be confined. You see, my girl, she was locked into a world. And her confinement, it was the state of her mind. Confinement, that's that piece, y'all. So it all starts with, like she said, insecurities, thinking 
that the person that you're with, you can change them by something that, that you're doing. But the reality of the situation is, especially for men, our change really has nothing to do with you. Our change has something to do with what our spiritual maturity is at that time. If we ain't ready, we ain't ready. I don't care how much you're doing, how much you're expressing, it has to be something that we are, a place that we're at in our life. So I just wanted to kind of share that piece that's called Confinement. Give it up, y'all, one more time. Yeah.